Good morning or afternoon. We're looking at number nine, It's Raining, It's Pouring, which would have been a, an appropriate song for yesterday because it was raining and pouring, but here we are today. Now, if you play anything other than clarinet, this song is rhythmically and also note-wise fairly simple for you. So some things to look at are the beginning starts at mezzo forte, and then it immediately gets softer and goes to mezzo piano here in measure number four. So as you're going through, please make sure that you're reading where the individual eighth notes are as opposed to the quarter notes, and then you're gonna repeat back to measure number one. Now we don't call this measure one because it is a pickup note. A pickup note is not a measure in and of itself. So this is measure one right here. And you're not gonna play the pickup note again because of this, and also because that pickup note is actually recreated here at the end of the first ending. Anyway, once you repeat back to here, you're gonna navigate the mezzo piano again, and then you're gonna to skip to the second ending. And that's the end of the tune. Now it's moderato, so that's gonna be somewhere around the neighborhood of 90 to 95 beats per minute, so should be doable. For clarinet, while it's not difficult, it does have some new notes that we learned for the first time yesterday. So that is going to be a high G, a high E, and a high F. So today you're going to need to make sure that you are using your register key and make absolute sure that your embouchure is rock solid. So you're gonna push that jaw forward, tighten up your chin, tighten up your corners, and play those. You can use the top of page number 26 to reference the fingerings for these notes. But remember, some of these are the same as some low notes that you know, just with the added register key. So if it helps you, you can actually play the C here first and then press your register key when you're practicing this, just to make sure that you're putting down the right fingers and just to make sure that that note will speak. Um, and mezzo forte, I find for me personally, when I try to play these really high notes on clarinet, if I'm trying to play them very, very, very soft with very little air, it's very difficult for me to get them to speak. So when you're first starting this, don't be afraid to go for it. Uh, now that's not saying squeak and squawk to your heart's content, but do go for it, put a substantial amount of air into your instrument.